Hey guys, Thrasher here, and Final Form Frieza and Captain Ginyu have finally arrived. But are they worth pulling on the new banner? Let's talk about it right now. Okay, so this banner has three new sparking units and two returning ones. Let's take a look at the featured characters and just kind of give a, a basic rundown of what each one is. So, Final Form Frieza is the character everyone's been waiting for. He is a yellow melee unit. He is a direct counter to Sparking Vegeta. He is a great unit. He can immobilize with his special skill. So he can immobilize someone with his special skill and then use his special move, which is Death Ball, and it's a very powerful combo. It's, it's much easier to get your special move off with Frieza than it is most characters. Um, the next in line is Captain Ginyu. Captain Ginyu completes the Ginyu Force team that lots of people have been running. They've been waiting for this unit. Um, his his quirk skill, his ability to switch with the other unit, um, it's an awesome skill. I was hoping that you could actually switch bodies with the other unit and play as the other unit, but the way it works is you switch bodies with them, you punch a hole in their body, and you switch back to Captain Ginyu. So it does some damage, it does bleed damage. Um, he's a cool character. He gives health to the Ginyu Force team as a Z ability. Um, we'll see how great he is in the long run, um, but I, I don't think he's a bad unit by any stretch of the imagination. And then the third new unit is Kid Gohan. This is a fantastic card. Here's why. He counters uh, Sparking Vegeta, and Sparking Vegeta counters Kid Gohan's best friend. So Sparking Vegeta is meant to counter Piccolo. Kid Gohan is the best synergistic partner with Piccolo because, if we look at this real quick, um, Kid Gohan gets a ton of strike damage when there are three battle members left and when you lose a battle member if one of them is piccolo then you get a 35 percent strike damage increase he's got lots of other strike damage buffs so as long as piccolo is on your team if piccolo happens to die um, because vegeta killed him you will roll through the vegeta and you'll probably roll through the vegeta decently well anyway just because he doesn't have much defense and and kid gohan does a ton of strike damage um so those are the three new units i would say they're all um good units. Frieza and Gohan are pretty close to top tier, um, and then Captain Ginyu is, is sort of mid-range, but he is a integral part to a team that lots of people want to run. Um, so the other two units that are on the banner that are returning are Piccolo, who is, uh, I guess not necessary to run with Kid Gohan, but he makes Kid Gohan much, much, much more powerful and they, they balance each other out because of that whole Vegeta mechanic that I talked about. Um, so so this is a great card. In my opinion, Piccolo is probably still, if not the best, maybe the second best character in the game. Arguably the best. Uh, and then the other character that's returning is PyCon, and he is synergistically a great unit to use with the other option for best character in the game, which is Broly. So if you happen to have Broly, uh, PyCon can work really well. If you don't have Broly, then PyCon may not be an amazing fit, but if you think about it, we've got five sparking units, three of them are amazing, two of them are good in specific situations. So there's no sparking unit here who is absolute garbage. This is the first time, in my opinion, that we've had a banner where all five of the featured sparking units are quality units that you shouldn't be mad if you pull. So that brings us to the question of how good is this banner? How many crystals should you use on it? Um, is it worth using any crystals at all? In my opinion, no matter what situation you're in, this is a good banner to use some crystals on. It's, it's your first chance to really have uh, multiple sparking units that are not free units that you're gonna get anyway. Uh, multiple units here are going to be in the meta. Um, Frieza for sure because he counters Saiyans. He counters Broly reasonably well. So what I would say is throw two to three multis at it, 20, 30 units, and then always do the daily. Um, if you want to throw a few more, it's not a terrible idea to throw a few more at it, but I wouldn't say any of these units are game-breaking, so I wouldn't completely unload all your, all your crystals on it. So in my opinion, this is a three-star Dragon Ball banner. Um, a good banner, but not a great banner. And that's really all there is to the Imperial Advent banner. It's a good banner. Spend some crystals on it, get some new units. And uh, if you guys like this content, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, throw them down below and I'll get to them. And I will see you guys in the next video.